Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll continue the talk on Feng Shui. Today we will be learning how to handle the passageways of your home. To start with, we will be focusing on the front door. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. When learning the principles of Feng Shui, I like to approach the subject as if the knowledge were placed on an ever-descending spiral that moves ever deeper into the understanding of Feng Shui. First we explore what Qi is and the different types of Qi. Then we moved around the spiral of knowledge again at a deeper level and explored the concepts of yin and yang and then we moved on to a discussion of the five elements and the three cycles and the nine star system and your lucky stars and the fortune of your door and the study of the bagua and the two diagnostic methods the effects of clutter difficult door and window placements and how to handle problems associated with the shape of your home and how to use color to harmonize the chi of your home and now and how to use lighting and mirrors to harmonize the chi of your home and today we will learn how to handle the passageways of your home to start with we will focus on the front door a person's home is divided between passageways and rooms. The passageways include the doors, the foyer, the hallways, and the stairways. The rooms include the living room, family room, kitchen, dining room, bedroom, bathroom, study, and home office. Today we will be learning about the first and most important of the passageways of our home, the front or main door. In addition to all that was discussed previously about the main entrance compass direction and relationship to the birth star, you also need to look at the main door. The first thing to consider is the relationship of the main entrance to the outside, especially if the door opens to the street or opens out to open countryside. The next thing to consider is the relationship the main entrance has to what is inside the home. What you see upon first entering your home will have a subtle effect upon your mental state and therefore upon your health and fortunes. If your door has more, if your home has more than one entrance and you enter or exit almost always through a door other than the official front door, then you should consider the door you habitually use to be your main door. The way you enter and exit determines your experience of your home. An obstacle of any kind in front of the door, whether it is a land formation, a hedge, a tree, a lamppost, a pole, whatever it might be, is undesirable. A large object positioned directly in front of the doorway blocks the entry of chi and therefore of health and wealth. If there is an immovable object such as a lamp post or a telephone pole directly in front of your doorway, you can balance it by placing other objects such as potted trees or statues on either side of the door as shown in the first diagram, or, place, or by placing a complementary object such as a tree on the other side of the house as shown in the second diagram. Trees or bushes or heavy vine growths growing too close to the doorway and windows of your home hamper movement and strangle the chi of your house and should be severely cut back or removed entirely. The most desirable location is to have the main entrance door facing flat land or land that slopes gently down. If your home's front door does not have this feature, but another entrance to your home does, then it's desirable to switch the main doorway from one side of the house to the other to take advantage of this good feature. There should not be a rising slope in front of the main door. If you have to climb up a hill to get out of the house, it speaks of obstacles and delays in your worldly affairs.
if you live in a house that has a path or driveway that leads directly to a door at ground level, it will send secret arrows into the house. This is shown in the first diagram. The way to remedy this problem is to change the shape of the path or driveway to slow down the approach to the house as shown in the second diagram. Or, if this is not possible, then you can hang a bagua mirror facing out over the door. You can also mirror the wall directly facing the doorway in the foyer to repel the secret arrows. A path leading directly to a door which is approached by steps will not send secret arrows into the house because the steps take the doorway out of the line of Sha Chi. In any case, it is, it is important that the path should be comfortable and wide. Sacred arrows that come against a house situated at the end of a blind alley or cul-de-sac or at the cross point of a T-junction as shown in these diagrams can be controlled by planting a hedge of bushes or trees behind the house and the roadway, between the house and the roadway. Or if there isn't enough space, by placing a mirror on the wall of the foyer directly facing the doorway. You can also hang a wind chime in the entrance. This will also help, but to a lesser degree. And in another way to remedy this situation is to place an iridescent mirror-like garden ball near the property edge between the front door and the issues in question. And now we will look at the door in relationship to the inside of the home. The first thing to do is to check that the door does not open to a wall as shown in the first diagram. This produces the effect of confinement on the chi. At the opposite end of the spectrum, if the door opens away from the wall shown in the second figure, it will produce the effect of ease. If upon opening the front door, you can see out the back door or back windows, the chi, instead of flowing calmly through the entire space of your home, shoots out like an arrow through the back door or window. This produces the effect of splitting your home apart and draining it of the chi. In order to remedy this, place a screen, curtain, shelving unit, or other largest, largish items between the front and back of the house to divert the stream of chi into the house. If the issue at the back of the house is a window that you can hang Venetian blinds or curtains on, even lace or sheer curtains are fine in this application. If you have the situation of a wall partition that is seen from the main door as shown in the first diagram, it will produce the effect of imbalance to your living space. To remedy this unbalanced effect, put a full length mirror or beautiful ornament that attracts attention on the obstructing side as shown in the second figure. Or better still, use a screen or other construction providing there is enough room, as shown in the last diagram. It is important to take note of what you see when you first open the door. The ideal situation would be to first encounter a beautifully decorated foyer or entrance hall and common rooms, a yang space, upon first entering your home, and the private rooms, the yin rooms, farther back into the house. If you are amongst the many who do not have this ideal layout, there are ways to mitigate this problem. If you find that upon entering the main door, you can see into a bedroom, as shown in this diagram, you can see that the bedroom is too exposed to outside disturbances. To fix this problem, put a full-length mirror on the outside of the bedroom door to ward ward off negative chi from the outside, and or hang a curtain to conceal the door, at least partially from view, if the space permits. Looking into an open kitchen upon first entering your home is also less than desirable because it draws your attention unduly to food. 
The best way to handle this issue is to cover the entrance to the kitchen with either a swinging door, a beaded curtain, or a Japanese style curtain door. Traditionally, a home where the main door opens directly into the kitchen is considered to have undesirable feng shui. This layout almost always makes the kitchen a social gathering place. If you enjoy being in the kitchen with your family and friends, a home like this would work well for you. If, however, you don't like it or find you are distracted from cooking or have lost your interest in cooking, arrange the table, chairs and pictures in your kitchen so that it feels secure and comfortable. It will also help matters if you hang wind chimes near the doorway or hang a string of bells from the hinges of the door to dispel negative chi. It is undesirable to have the main door too close to the dining area as shown in this diagram. It interferes with nourishment. In a space such as this, try to move the dining area away from the main door to where the chi is calmer, or put up a screen if there is enough room for one. It is generally considered to be perfectly fine to see the living room from the main door. However, when the door opens directly into the living room, it exposes the room to too much of the outside and makes much of the area around the door useless. Objects such as wall units, bookcases, or if there is a sufficient light, large standing plants can be placed near the door to create a feeling of privacy and containment, as well as make the area more functional. Many people enter their private homes from the garage into a stairway up stairwell or utility room. This is a very stressful way to enter the house because it brings in noxious food fumes and dirt. If you habitually enter and leave your home by an interior stairwell from which there are steps going up and down will ultimately create a sense of confusion about direction and can result in accidents it also causes the occupants of the house to feel cramped and unsettled. The entrance to many city brownstones is situated at the top of a flight of stairs that rise up from the sidewalk. This is considered to be very good feng shui. When the entrance to the house is above the street, it gives the occupants the feeling of being at a secure distance from the activity of the street. If, on the other hand, the entrance of your home is below street level and you have to walk down a few steps from the sidewalk to enter your home, the chi of your home is somewhat depressed. You can easily remedy this situation by planting shrubs, especially evergreens, and flowers around the entrance. I have a great many videos now on many different topics and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.